Welcome to Tiger Stop. This is Matthias, and today I'm going to show you how to change out the keypad membrane for a Con5 controller. So we're going to go ahead and replace the keypad membrane on this Con5 controller. The part number for that is a CON5-KPM. So that's just a Con5 controller 5 uh, KPM. So we're going to just go ahead and pull the screws off the end here. Now there's normally four on here, but we've got two on this one, as this is an older beaten on controller. Now you don't necessarily need to pull the ends off, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just because it's a lot easier. Sometimes you can get bound up. So once we get that pulled off, then we're able to see the interior parts of the controller. So to replace that KPM, we're just going to pull this ribbon connection off. We're going to peel the old controller uh, keypad membrane off. Okay, so once you work at getting that corner lifted up, it should be pretty easy. It just kind of peels off. Now you do want to be careful because there's not a whole lot holding the screen in place here and the next one, uh, the next KPM that you lay on there will adhese to it, right? So you want to pay attention to that. And then you want to make sure you've got a, a fairly clean surface. Otherwise it may not stick as well as you would like. So one thing that you can do to test a KPM uh, before adhesing it is you can just pull that through and plug that into the ribbon connection there. There we go. And test that out if you want beforehand. Otherwise, we're just gonna go ahead and peel this guy off and lay it back down. Now, something to pay attention to, this happens quite a bit, is there is a uh, clear plastic sheet on the back of the controller uh, the screen section here and we want to make sure that that is peeled off otherwise you'll have a cloudy film uh, potentially there the whole time as well all right so now that we've got that off we know we've got a nice clear shot through you're going to want to make sure that you're lined up over over the LED screen and that your top edges are lined up first and then you can just slowly press down making sure there's no bubbles underneath and move it across as we go. So again it is very important to get that film off otherwise you will have a, a cloudy film behind your screen there that'll stay on. So now that that's back together we can just slide the cover back on and then put the ends back on. So once we've got that all back together, we're in good shape. Thanks for taking the time today to go through our video selection. We hope that it was helpful. If you have any suggestions, please contact us at service at tigerstop.com. Otherwise, have a great day.